Gallagher, did the paper come today? I had enough of Manning yesterday. Don't think it was delivered this morning. Thanks. Christina's gonna be okay. Yeah, better than her mom. Hey, we're gonna get out of this. Oh, no. You didn't pop a stitch or anything, did you? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, because if you go back to General Hospital, you know, Epiphany might just drive you to the epiphany bed. Epiphany is not someone to be trifling with. I will with, not seriously. be trifling with Epiphany, but in my defense, it was supposed to be a simple trip to the courthouse. Not so simple, considering Lucy attacked you and Todd is absolutely crazy. Do you think it's going to work? <sighs> I don't know. What do you think? Do you think he's going to get away with this insanity thing? Manning is scheduled for his psych evaluation later today. Well, we'll see if his bid to play crazy is good enough to fool the professionals. He's done it before. I mean, Manning's a complete sociopath. Other than that, he's perfectly sane. How do we prove it? He's already laying the groundwork when I dropped him off at Ferncliff yesterday, pretending to share Lucy Coe's delusions about yeah. vampires. Well, here's to hoping we've seen the last of that crackpot, too. I'll have you know that crackpot is my wife. Not to be fair, she's really more screwball than crackpot. Detective. Mm. Yeah. It is good to see you, Kevin. You too, Alexis. So, from what I hear, seems I'm back in Port Charles none too soon. I wasn't sure I was going to hear from you at all. I had left you tons of messages. You didn't get back to me. I'm sorry it took me so long to get in touch. Couldn't have been easy. Dealing with Lucy on your own? You think? In any case, I'm really glad you're here because she's had a rough couple of days. She's gonna use your support. Is it true she stabbed a police officer? Uh-huh. Him. How you doing? Detective John McBain. Dr. Kevin Collins, and I am so very sorry. I hope Lucy didn't cause any permanent damage. I'll live. You know, Lucy got it in her head that John is not John that he's a vampire. Named Caleb. So you know about this Caleb, too? Unfortunately, I've been subject to Lucy's ravings for longer than I care to remember. She would go on and on about Caleb Morley, the king of the vampires, who had the power to mesmerize the whole town, but only she could see the truth. And he was supposedly obsessed with a daughter that I don't have, named Livy. I'm your daughter? Excuse She's me? My daughter. Eric. Sam. Kevin. Hi. Kevin Sam. It's, it's nice to it's meet very you. Very nice to meet you. Lucy saw Sam and she decided she was Livy. We didn't have some torrid affair that I've forgotten about, did we? Only if I've forgotten about it, too. Oh. Well, just so I understand, you do not have a daughter named Livy. No. You don't recognize Sam. I've never seen you before in my life. Lucy seems so sure. I'm. I'm... I thought she had me confused with someone else. Confused with someone in her imaginations. I'm a psychiatrist, and no amount of therapy or drugs have been able to diminish Lucy's commitment to her narrative or hallucinations. Finally, it got so bad I had to leave before her behavior caused permanent damage to the children. Kevin, I'm sorry. I always knew Lucy was eccentric. I just didn't know that it had gotten that bad. You wouldn't believe how convoluted and detailed her madness became. She was living in a fantasy world of seers, demons. There was even an angel named Rafe. Excuse me. Did you see Christina? Yeah. Okay, what happened? Yeah, they arranged for Sam and me to visit her in her cell, and she's putting up a brave front. She's a mess. So am I. So you gotta do something, because she can't take the stress of a trial, and she, she can't take the stress of a prison sentence, for sure. So you need to talk to Connie. I tried. She shut me down. Well, try again, okay? She's had time to cool down. Don't bet on it. You're the only one who can get through to Connie, Kate, whatever the hell her name is. How many times have I got to... I, I tried. She, I can't do okay. it. Okay, let me just say to you, you get through to her, or our daughter is gonna end up in prison. Just like my car. Detective, I want to apologize for all the trouble my wife put you through. Forget about it. I needed a day off. John is a total workaholic. And you're both very kind. You can help him by stop thanking him. He doesn't do well with gratitude. Well, then I'm relieved that you're on your feet already and that Lucy is institutionalized. Maybe now she can get the help that I wasn't able to give her. And I'm sure you'll be an integral part of her recovery. Oh, I'm not staying. I'm afraid Lucy's gonna have to get better on her own.
Wait, you can't just leave. You just got here. I only came to apologize to Lucy's victims and to consult with her doctors. Give them a background on her case. And then what? I go home. You're just giving up? Oh, I'm stepping aside so that she can get the help that she needs. Really? So what if Lucy had stepped aside when you needed the help, when she convinced the best attorney in Port Charles, which happens to be me, to keep you out of Ferncliff? I will always be grateful that you defended me. I don't need you to be grateful to me. You need to be grateful to Lucy. She needs your gratitude and your loyalty. You're not hearing me. There's nothing left for me to do. What would you have done without Lucy's unwavering love? And more importantly, what is she going to do if you don't return the favor? 